Shalom and welcome to Jerusalem, actually to our home in Mevaseret, which is just outside of Jerusalem. Mevaseret means uh, in Hebrew, announcing the good news from Zion. And we're so glad to be able to come to you today via this miracle of the internet. Our son Chris has helped get us all set up on this and we hope that it'll be a regular uh, encouragement to you. My desire is to give you the big picture. You know, we, we get caught up with all the nitty gritties of life and all the pains and problems and trying to pay the bills and, you know, difficulties, illnesses, challenges. Uh, but there is hope. There's a tremendous hope that I want to share with you day in and day out. A friend of mine, Dave Balsiger, he's a wonderful producer of TV programs in the United States, did a, a study. He did a, a poll and he found that in the United States, uh, but people that they polled wanted to see on television. He asked them, what do you want to see? And they answered. And they said, we want to see something to do about what will the future bring? What's going to happen in the future? Most people uh, are kind of concerned about it. And I don't think that's an unfair uh, concern because of what happened even in the year 2008. It was a, it was a shocking year with the collapse of the world economy with uh, the ongoing war in, uh, in Iraq and, and uh, in Afghanistan, and then, of course, the air, air year-ending war in Gaza, uh, with Israel uh, being forced to confront the Hamas terrorists who were lobbing thousands of rockets into Israel. Now we've just witnessed the inauguration of President uh, Barack Obama, and it was a wonderful event. Uh, we were sitting around here as a family last night, and we were, we were really tremendously encouraged uh, to hear him speak uh, about his hopes and aspirations as the 44th president of the United States. He wants to change the, uh, the world. He wants to, you know, hopefully address the issues of peace. He wants to uh, address the issues of the environment, um, uh, you know, inequalities of, uh, of rich versus the poor. I mean, it's a tremendous hope uh, rising up in, in millions of people. Uh, he's the first man of color, the president of the most powerful nation on earth, and truly uh, it has embodied uh, great hope in all of us around the world. But my point today is to say this, and I don't want to be a, a naysayer or a rain on anyone's parade, but it's just almost too hard to uh, put all our hope in one man. In fact, the Bible uh, tells us that this is a dangerous thing to do, that we're not to, you know, put our hope in man. But actually, it says in Scripture that our hope is in the Lord and that he is our hope and that the Messiah is our hope and glory. And he is coming. He is known as the Prince of Peace. And um, so he's coming to bring peace on earth. Now, of course, in the meantime, we hope that Obama and different ones can help bring peace, uh, but it's not to be our final focus. And I want to give you hope today. That's my desire uh, as we come and share these brief little encounters with you moment, day by day, morning by morning, uh, of what the Lord is showing us here in Israel. Um, our government is going to be uh, elected again on February the 11th, and um, we're hopeful that we can get a kind of a government that will um, also... Uh, move ahead in the areas of peace. But it's a, a warning. We have to only look to the Lord for ultimate peace and ultimate uh, solution of conflict uh, between men on this planet. So we bless you today. Look forward to being with you again tomorrow. And uh, shalom from Jerusalem, from Mebuseret Zion, announcing good news from Zion. <laughs>